Hello and welcome to our networking table, the next level in flexible locating solutions. My name is Paul and I will be guiding you through our session. First of all, thank you for joining us today. Today's talk's focus will mainly lie on these topics. A few of the potential of real-time locating systems and standards, the benefits of the Telekom and Trumpf cooperation and description of the solution and offering. Of course, we will give you some hints about how to get started best. But first, let me introduce to you our three guests who are here today to discuss these topics. We have Isabel. Isabel Kortals has been working in Deutsche Telekom Innovation Unit for more than 15 years. She has been focusing on 5G technologies and has a strong motivation to bridge the gap between technologies and business worlds. Welcome, Isabel, to our networking table. Thank you, Paul. Then there is Steffen. With a background in the automotive industry, Steffen Lechermann joined T-Systems as a project manager in 2022. A warm welcome to you, Steffen. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. Then we have Daniel. Daniel Bosser works at Trumpf Tracking Technology and is in charge of the project OMLOX and real-time locating systems. Welcome, Daniel. Nice having you here today. Thank you for the warm welcome, Paul. Last but not least, I will introduce myself. My name is Paul Krumm. I've been working as a business development manager at Deutsche Telekom in the area in the, uh, of automotive industry for two years. And today I have the honor of moderating this networking table with you. Now <clears throat> that you have gotten to know our guests, let's start. Daniel, I'd like to ask today's first question. Why is Trumpf, as one of the leading machine manufacturing companies, concerned with tracking solutions in the first place? Could you describe your motivation and solution a bit closer? Yes, of course. I'm, I'm really delighted to talk about our cooperation today, Paul, but also about our nice uh, product we have developed together. And um, yeah, as you probably could know or guess by the name of Trump Tracking Technologies, our company is uh, dealing with uh, tracking technologies, of course, but also with the utilization of uh, real-time locating data. And um, yeah, we are part of the Trumpf group and uh, Trumpf is well known for being the world market and um, technology leader in the field of machine tools and lasers in the industrial uh, production section. And uh, during our um, digital transformation process, we have identified that um, lot runs of our customer become smaller and smaller but also the product itself are turning into a more complex um, topic. So, uh, which leads then that our customers, they lose transparency on the shop floor and they start a lot of searching uh, items. Uh, and when workers are not, you know, um, searching items, they're not productive uh, anymore. And, um, but also we have identified that the machine tool itself, the speed, is not that crucial anymore when it comes to smaller lot runs. Um, but the processes before and after the machine process, this is where the potential lies. And if we can lift this potential with intralogistics, uh, we are on the right track. And, and this is like um, um, primary and secondary market research we did. We have identified the potential of being more than 40%, which we can lift with real-time locating data. And, and why are real-time locating data so important to us? Because they help us to get transparency on the shop floor to know exactly where an asset is. But also we can, with the help of positioning data, we are capable to automize processes on the shop floor. 
And uh, on that way, we looked into different technologies to fulfill the demand of our customers. And we looked into the technology, Paul, um, of um, a technology which you could see here and displayed here, which is called uh, ultra wideband. And what makes this uh, ultra wideband so special to us is because it's the only technology on the market which is robust, but also precise enough to fulfill different use cases. And I can explain you the, the principle behind in, in a quite high level. So in principle, as you can see on the picture on the right place, you see there's a, a little tag we call it um, uh, ultra wideband tech. And on the ceiling, we have mounted some receivers, we call them satellites, and they are placed really below the ceiling. And once this um, tech emits a radio signal, a ultra wideband signal, this will be received by the receiver, of course. <laughs> and uh, by measuring the time of how long a signal will take from the receiving to the transceiving uh, emission point, we can compute the position of a tag in real time. And yeah, this is uh, where we looked into the technology. And again, that's the only technology we see at the market right now, which um, fulfills the needs in the industrial area. Mm, okay. Thank you very much for this explanation. Yes. This looks very interesting. I guess you may have brought us a few use cases where this technique can help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, let's have a deep dive into two use cases uh, where we are using this technology already. So here we see a top view of a, a smart factory. And once we start to, you know, we, 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 we tag our um, assets uh, on the shop floor, so asset tracking is, of course, <laughs> one <laughs> use case in order to reduce search times to know exactly where asset is. But furthermore, once you have humans in, in, in the fab, um, shop floor, you can then navigate them to the point of interest. But also we can automate the, the process um, once an, an asset is entering a specific um, area here you, we have outlined it with this uh, yellow uh, square. So once an asset enters or leaves this square, we can trigger aut automatically uh, events in an ERP system, for instance, automated booking is a topic or paperless production um, to, to display working instructions to a worker. This is where we start to optimize the process besides generating transparency on the shop floor. Mm -hmm. But if you start now to um, tag any, I would say, mobile device entity on your shop floor, such as um, automated guided vehicles or forklifts, and then you start to analyze this data, then you can optimize, for instance, your material flow. And we see things which you haven't seen before. And this helps to, to optimize the process. And as you can see, there are heaps of other, I would say, other uh, use cases like indoor, outdoor tracking to support inbound, outbound logistics, also a big topic. It's just the tipping point, I would say, uh, on an iceberg. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of use cases. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There are really many use cases and yes. possibilities. But I'm wondering, realizing this looks very time consuming and complicated. How do you manage to map all this economically and make it also scalable? This is, this is exactly, I think that's a general topic for all industry 4.0 uh, application in general, how to scale up. Because usually you start with one use case, right? Um, but what we would like to do in the industry, we would have scale up the solution, um, non-limited, and each use cases um, uh, requires different setups in 
terms of hardware and, and software components. And, and to realize this, I would say, open ecosystem, um, we have to stick to uh, industry standards. So industry standards become more and more yeah, really important to us. Mm. And this is why we have you know, searched if there is a, a standard available on the market for positioning data. And there was none. Hence, we started to develop a new standard, which is called OMLOX. So that's the basic of the of the standard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, once we have a quite holistic view on, on things, if we would like to track indoor and outdoor items, um, we have figured out that you know there are heaps of technologies out there where you can do real-time locating and um, but also there's probably the most prominent which we all know is gps from the outside from mm. your smartphone uh, but also there's other companies who are providing already ultra wideband starting with one use case but again if you have a re holistic view you would like to have all positioning data in one application and mm. we see today only silos and we would like to get rid of silos because silos do not scale hence we have developed this new architecture in the in, in omlox and as you can see uh, on top we have application and the applications you could choose any which you would like to and by having um, standardized the api downwards to this um, you know, purple colored square, which we call Omlox Hub. Um, we are now then capable to integrate any positioning data, which will be the, the bottom of the, um, um, uh, of the chart, any positioning technology. And uh, by having this standardized interfaces, we generate this open ecosystem and we are technology agnostic we have centralized the main feature of location-based services in this Omlox hub. So this acts as a single source of truth for any position data. And in the green spot, we also enable now the interoperability of ultra wideband components, which is a novum. So you have no uh, vendor logins anymore. Uh, so we really break up the silos in all different categories. Mm -hmm. I understand. This open standard on blocks really looks like a helpful simplification. Daniel, have you already been able to implement projects with this new architecture in real life? Um, yes, it's not like only PowerPoint. <laughs> so we really have uh, implemented uh, uh, OMLOX already. And, and the beauty of, of Trumpf is also that we produce our own machines. So we have uh, high know-how uh, in, in, in production processes and also where we can uh, use the technology and the OMLOX standard for our own purposes. So as you can see, we have um, OMLOX already installed in worldwide in US, in China, Austria, and Germany. And with this know-how, we help now other companies to, to, to integrate OMLOX in their ecosystem. So like Mann and Hummel, Liebherr, uh, in the aerospace, we are active. It's just a few, um, just to sh show that you know, we are already using OMLOX. It's not on paper, it's, it's real already. Mm -hmm. That was very impressive. Thank you for those helpful insights. Now, moving on to you, Isabel. What does Telecom have to do with these topics? What is the motivation behind this cooperation? Would you give us some insights to this? Yes, sure. Thank you, Paul, for, for this question. So uh, with the cooperation, with Tom tracking technologies, we bring positioning to the next level by combining complementary areas of expertise. First, the deep knowledge of industry processes. Second, the expertise in connectivity. And third, the expertise in system integration. 
positioning can be considered to be one use case where 5G connectivity can bring some benefits. The idea is that when you have a 5G campus network in place for different applications, you can use a 5G connectivity for the ultra wideband system as well. You can replace Ethernet cabling with 5G to connect the UWB the satellites with the positioning server. By getting rid of cables, you can reduce costs and increase flexibility. The only thing you need is then a power supply. You can equip the entire factory hall to have the full transparency since 5G connectivity is available on the entire campus. And in the end, you get a flexible solution which allows you to place or move UWB satellites whenever, wherever needed in the factory hall in particular at those spots where a high and robust locating performance is needed. And by working together with Trumpf uh, very closely, we make sure that all the components we bring together in the solution work smoothly together. There are major benefits that we see. Reducing the infrastructure on site has a positive impact both on the total cost of ownership and on flexibility. With this solution, operational processes can be simplified and we have the interoperability on locating technologies. And all these aspects allow to scale more easily. So in a nutshell, it's about adapting and scaling the locating infrastructure easily at manageable costs based on the open locating standard OMLOX and 5G and thus avoiding vendor and technology lock-in. And Paul, that is a motivation for us to set up a cooperation with Trump tracking technologies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Now I can see why these two strong companies have joined to work on this project together. Um, they complete each other in a sense. Exactly. Can you explain the specific technical benefit to us in a little more detail? Yes, sure. Can you please, uh, yes, we have on, on the next slide. On this slide, you can see the main components of, of, of the solution. We have a 5G campus network providing 5G connectivity on the entire campus. We have the omlox based UWB system in the factory hall on the right-hand side with satellites at the sailing and, and text attached to assets, and that's the second building block. We have the positioning software in the cloud, so you can use the system for different locations. And the UWB satellites are connected to the positioning server in the cloud via 5G. The geodata can be used for various applications, as you can see on the dashboard, as the tracking is a, is a prominent application. And so these are the elements of an indoor tracking solution. In addition, Thanks to the Amlox standard and more specifically to the Amlox hub piece, which is also located in the cloud, you have the possibility to integrate further tracking technologies on top of UWB. For example, let's take the example of uh, GPS as an outdoor positioning technology to keep track of assets when they leave the factory hall. And so you get a seamless indoor outdoor tracking solution. As you can see, this solution can enrich many applications. Mm. And maybe I can give you also some some uh, few words on, on how these elements work together. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that would be the, the next slide, yeah. Okay. What you see now is the top view of a um, factory hall with UWB satellites in blue color hanging at the ceiling over the entire hall. So far, with the state of the art solutions, these UWB satellites are connected with Ethernet cables. What we propose to do is to connect these satellites with 5G. And the light blue color you will soon see <laughs> shows the UWB uh, coverage over the whole shop floor via 5G. And you can track assets in the whole factory. On top of that, you have the flexibility I was already mentioning. You can add some UWB anchors to provide a better locating performance. This is the area you can see on the right hand side where we have a high infrastructure density to support, for example, the assembly process. Materials and tools in this area can be tracked even more accurately. And when the high locating performance is no longer needed there, the UWB satellites can be moved to another place within the factory without having to install new cables since they are connected via 5G. 
and you always get the full transparency over the entire floors in real time. And again, this solution can scale easily to further factory halls and further campus locations. Wow, yeah, this is very impressive. And um, it's interesting how a previously static and inflexible infrastructure can be made completely flexible um, with an OMLOG standard and 5G connection. The cost advantages are also easy to understand for me. Thank you, Isabel, for these detailed explanations. You're mm -hmm. welcome. Now I'm sure our participants in this session are keen on understanding how this solution will come to life. Steffen, could you explain what T-Systems and Telecom are offering their customers? Yeah, um, thank you, Paul. Um, yeah, how do we bring it to the shop floor? Um, first of all, yeah, you need the trackers, you need the satellites um, that you see here. And these satellites get connected via 5G, we propose, um, to the cloud. And up on that, um, you can have various um, analytics tools, um, various use cases. Um, we can provide you with the middleware, integrating various location systems, be it RFID, Bluetooth Low Energy, GPS, or the ultra wideband solution we propose here um, to, uh, yeah, a harmonized database, integrate all the systems together so that you have, yeah, a pool of harmonized geodata on which you can base the various use cases. Uh, Daniel, for example, proposed like automated booking, um, some process automation analytics. Um, you can integrate your um, the geodata in your uh, business intelligence tool, for example. But to explain it to you a bit more in detail, we have a very own T-Systems build tool called um, Factory Viz, okay. which builds partly on, um, yeah, on the OMLOG standard. So it's a full shop floor visualization. Um, in the future, it uh, will be uh, a scan of the environment. So you can have either the solution you see here where you have a, a remodeled um, factory hall with, um, with modeled um, uh, machines, but also there's possible to to scan the environment so that you have a uh, yeah uh, a more real experience in that. And what you can do in the factory with is you can search and find things. You see what happens live, what is driving live. You see forklifts driving, for example, if they're equipped with a tracker, and you can visualize geofences. And this is especially important as geofence is something that um, it's it's hard to understand if you have only the numbers there, but uh, if you can see it in 3D, as you can see on the bottom left picture, then it's easy, very easy to understand for everybody. There are some additional use cases like you can visualize your IoT data, um, visualize analytical data like energy consumptions. Um, we have a um, visualized um, ERP system that shows you where are the parts that you need, where critical parts, for example, and you offer a virtual walkthrough, uh, kind of a yeah, a, a low-key planning tool. So, but the first three um, use cases you see here are supported by the Omlux Hub, supported by uh, GeoData. And yeah, let me use that a bit to explain a bit more why GeoData in this context is so important. Um, so I have here my phone and with only the information of where I am, I can get recommendations for restaurants nearby. I can get recommendations for um, where the next train is driving if I'm on a train station, for example. Uh, only the information is that I am here. And this is, a, so this is a very powerful tool. And even if you enrich the data, the poor Geo data um, with some other data, like who I am, what my interests are, then it's even more powerful. Um, today, there are whole studies that uh, are just um, concerned with uh, geodata. So in, in the industrial way, it's the same. You can trigger processes via geodata. And yeah, I think we've talked enough, enough about the use cases. And there's another thing here. We call the factory vis, for example, um, a little omniverse, so-called a uh, little industrial metaverse as it's a bit of a reduced version that runs in the browser. You don't need large um, uh, 
workstations to work with it. So if you talk about industrial metaverse, we also talk about digital twins. And with the big problem with all this is always, how do I get the data that I have into the cloud, into the digital twin, into the industrial metaverse? Things that happen live on your shop floor. So you, now you can connect all your machines that you have, maybe from different suppliers, from uh, machines that are older, that are uh, newer. And this is very difficult and requires lots of work. But with Geodata, you get almost instantly a large data pool that is reliable, reliable, transparent, and easy to understand. There is no interpretation. It, it, it is as it, as it is. So um, it's very easy to understand. And yeah, that leads me a bit to the offering. The offering is how we can harmonize all the data together so you can have uh, a harmonized data pool that you can base all the use cases on. So we offer the positioning hubs, the Omlux middleware um, for the standard distribution of all the geodata from whatever source it is. Um, we can integrate all we are a systems integrator at systems. We can integrate um, existing uh, uh, sources of, of data at your plant, existing um, systems like GPS, Bluetooth Low Energy, whatever you might have already running. And there is a, in the end, there is one API you can program against. So for all um, technologies, um, for, for all applications you might uh, use Geodata for, um, there's only the one Omlux API you have to use. And then you have all the Geodata, whatever source it is. Uh, optional, there are various project-based solutions for analytics, um, systems integration, and other services. One I just showed to you as the factory with. Um, also, we can deploy, we have two partners here with Bluetooth Energy and Ultra Wideband, so we can deploy that. And of course, um, we can all deliver that in a modern way, in a state-of-the-art way with a container-based architecture. And maybe important also, if this all can run on-premise or in the cloud, there are also hybrid options. Um, so yeah, this is the offering you can get. I think um, there are lots of uh, advantages all there. You can place it on multiple locations. And I think the great advantage always to mention um, that it's, it, it, it's upon all vendors, upon all suppliers. And then you have one data pool and with the one data pool, um, yeah, that's, that's the powerful thing where you can base all the, applic um, the applications on. Mm. Yeah, thank you for explaining what Telecom and T-Systems will offer in 2023. I have an, an additional question. How would you say can our customer best start getting in our solution? What are your recommendations for them? Yeah, um, we are getting started with the first customers. Um, so what we always recommend is kind of a starter package. You start with one use case, um, with one location, and then it goes step by step. Um, we always uh, recommend that uh, the deployment is accompanied by some consulting by us or, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, often the, what customers start with is asset tracking as this is the most, um, yeah, the easiest to implement a function and uh, it doesn't require lots of systems integration with, um, with different um, systems like the MES system or something like an ERP system you have running on your plant. Um, if you have already a 5G campus net installed, then this is a, a great addition. Uh, this is another use case for you to, to harness your 5G campus net. And if not, then we can also offer you a 5G campus uh, net to go. It's getting delivered in a, in a box and then you can uh, yeah, make some trial runs for some months um, and try 5G on your location. Okay, Steffen, thank you very much for that. I have one more question for Daniel. 
Um, Daniel, at the beginning of this session, you showed us impressive references that have been successfully implemented. In your opinion, what are the measurable advantages of the solution? What are your findings from these projects? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, as I mentioned or stated before, we, we run we run this uh, project already, and uh, the outcome of it was really that we have proven that we could automate processes. Uh, we have uh, increased the transparency, as I said before. Uh, but also when we talk about KPIs, um, we have uh, optimized the, the throughput times by 12%. And we reduced also the searching times by more than 40%. And But also we have proven that you could realize also projects with a return of investment of uh, one year. So this really depends on the size of the, the projects, but it's everything is feasible. And what we also do see is that we see a high increase um, for the next upcoming years for, for real-time locating solutions. So it's a, it's a huge topic and, and we see uh, activities uh, worldwide. And, um, the, 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 and again, as Stefan said, companies start with one specific use case and then yeah. add different use cases. And the, the beauty of the Omlox architecture is that you could easily expand your applications without having a risk of investing um, to have a, a lock-in situation. And, and this is uh, the future we see, and uh, this is where we are working on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that are very convincing arguments, I think. I hope that we were able to arouse the interest of our participants in this session. Please do not hesitate to contact us at any time via this email address. We look forward to hearing from you. You are also invited to visit our showroom in Berlin, in the Werner von Siemens Center. There you can see the solution where we were, were talking about. Or you come to Ditzingen near Stuttgart and visit us there on the Trumpf campus. Yeah. Looks like we are at the end of our discussion. A big thank you to our guests, Isabel, Daniel, Steffen. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks to the audience for participating in this session. And please do not hesitate to contact us at any time. Once again, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.